let me just pause here. Like James, we talk a lot about differentiators in marketing, right? <laughs> like, and variable. Yeah. Like, can you give me kind of how you think about UVPs? What, what is a UVP? What is a differentiator? Like how you think of it in terms of inspectors at a high level? Yeah. I mean, for an inspector, I think there's, there's the element of um, part of it is you, right? Who are you? What's your story? What are you bringing to the table? Um, a lot of inspectors don't just come out of the womb and become inspectors, right? You know, you have people that are working um, all sorts of different jobs. Maybe you're a contractor, maybe you're in real estate. Uh, maybe you're working on a production line for a for an auto manufacturer. Uh, all of those stories are there. So being able to tell the story and connect that to why you're doing what you do, I think is is one piece of that. Um, I think it's also, you know, the, the the tools that you're bringing to the job is a part of that. And that doesn't mean to go out and buy uh, one of those super cool remote control cars that drives under people's houses because that's, I mean, I want one, but um, that's not that's not so much the thing when you're starting, right? What you need to be doing is, is um, you know, making sure that your reports are great and you're explaining things properly. And all of those pieces, I think, can all help build towards a differentiator. Um, but but figure out your story, figure out how you tell that. And I think that's a good starting point for what you do. That's such a good call. And like Chance has probably heard many stories as, as have I from the pod. It's like everyone has an interesting backstory that gets into this industry pretty much. Like even if it's not the traditional route we'll call construction, home building, things like that. Um, you know, there's communication majors, there's teachers. I mean, there's some interesting backstories. So I think like, I like digging into their story as a differentiator. Yeah. What sets you apart? Um, we joked about this earlier, but it's like, yeah, clients and agents are like, yeah, you better do a, a thorough, you better have a good software. Like these are all bare minimums now. Um, <laughs> We we do this in jest, but seriously though, like not a ton of people actually know what Ashi or Interachi or your state licensing. You know, you got to post that stuff. You got to have your badges, but like it's it should not be your differentiator because it it's not. Um, what really sets you apart? So, um, do any of these jump out to you, Chance, that you have actually heard or worked with inspectors on, or like ones where you even as a customer perspective that you're like, oh yeah, that's that's pretty badass. That's cool. Um, you know, in a technology world, like James said, we all want thermal scans. We want these drones. I've seen drones come up a lot. So if you guys are considering, if you have one, throw it in there. That's a growing trend I'm seeing on a daily basis. Um, but yeah, do the small things. Um, do this newsletter. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty free. Do the branded lawn chairs. We do the thing, you know, make them koozies, give them koozies. You never know when <laughs> someone's at a friend's house at a barbecue and they see a home inspector koozie and go, did this guy do your home inspection? No, business. So it's these little small creative ways. And like, yeah, I, I would say those two are, are two of my favorite ones. I love it. And it's simple, right? It's not, we're not asking them to, to shatter the earth here. It's like, these are little things, little brand impressions that, that can make a difference. So We'll link to an article we have where I think we have like another 50 ideas like this and we'll keep adding to that. Um, yeah, J James, any any of these jump out to you for, like with your marketing hat on? I'm curious. You know, it's funny, like looking at this, I think one that's kind of sticking out is just there's the brand bringing branded lawn chairs, which is cool. But I think just like bringing snacks and water, right? That's just unexpected. Whose home inspector is going to walk up and just be like, hey, you know, we're going to be if if the if the potential buyer is going to be there. They're not going to expect you to be like, hey, here's some water, like here's here's something to eat. This is going to take a while, like we're going to be going yeah. around the house. So I'll explain everything. And I think that's, I think, um, you know, in a later a later section of this, we'll talk about sort of having a really good uh, driveway speech to give somebody. But if you're adding a little benefit, a little snack, a little, little water, whatever it may be, I mean, all those things are just anything that's un unexpected. Somebody's mind is going to remember that, right? So what can you do that's unexpected in a positive way that's going to make them, um, you know, tell a friend about it? Yeah, exactly. That's to me like story worthy. It was like, oh yeah, guy brought me an apple. Like who does that? I'm like that, that was awesome. Um, cool. So yeah, I mean, this, this is super important to think about differentiators and highlighting your differences. 